Oh, it didn't revoke. You can actually longbow the guy, and he can't fight back, but the damage isn't really low, plus my longbow is pretty badly damaged. I think Astrid's got one as well. Yeah. But I'm just going to try and find it a bit closer. I just want to get preparations. Alright, 48% chance, nice. Okay. I'll let him get the first hit. Keep those two together because I'm getting their thing up with that support. There's no one left. All we've got left is the boss and that guy I need to steal from. You stole him and... This is the domain of my master, Bishop Oliver, the Duke of Tenas. You will learn that no one impugns his honour and lives to walk away. Miss me. I don't think Sion can fight here. Oh, yeah, he can. Nice. How much damage did the last strip do? Good, if I can weaken it first and make sure she's healed just to be safe. Ah. do with getting him to level 20 as well because he he classes up as part of the storyline but I can't remember when I put I'm pretty sure it's a while off though okay I'll go with that Good job by that thing kicking. <laughs> okay. Now for the right. Wow, she has a hundred percent accuracy. What what fate is this? It is just punishment for my complicity in this evil. Uh whatever. Level up! Finally, some skill. What level is she now? 14, nice. I'll send a spear back. And uh, now let's see this place. I think we're out of enemies. Yep. Yeah. You can just press start to check your enemies. Everything done? Hey! Yeah. Season clear. Yep. Did pretty well. A couple of screw ups along the way. Ah. Oh, my sweet beautiful little bird, don't be frightened. Come, let us fly away together. Stay away from me, you filthy fat man. Uh. Come quietly, you belong to me. I will not give you up. No one shall take you from me. Though the price may be my life, I will never cooperate with you. Hey, where are you, two Kenneth? Are you in here? Ah, uh, no. Duke Tennis, who are you? Ah, you, you're the swings. Are you unharmed? We've come to help you. Your injury, did that man do that to you? This room must be tended to. Stay back. But, do not approach me, cursed human. Cursed human. That ain't good. Grandma's nurse every turn. 
Oh, it's like, it's good to see you well. How went the mission? Did you unearth any meaning full proof? Where's the apostle? I say, like, I must speak with the apostle. Where is she? The apostle Snack is in the garden having a pleasant conversation with Princess Alicia. I will go directly and see if she will meet with you. Please wait here. In the garden? Great. Ah, uh, Miss Mike, no, you mustn't behave so. You'll cause such problems. Parcel. What you? What are you doing? How dare you approach me unannounced? This is most inappropriate, and I will not... What has happened, my lord? I... All of it. I want to hear all of it now. What are you talking about? That's like... I almost want to speak to the Apostle in such discourteous fashion. Twenty years ago, something happened in Serene's forest. Something terrible. I want to know. What? That's like... What happened twenty years ago? You found one of the Heron clan? And if Serene's noble, no less. One of them still lives? But that... such a thing. Apostle Sonaki? Tell me. That was a very difficult problem. Hmm, how to impart this tale? It would appear no one is willing to begin this story. That being so, I would open with what is commonly known of the matter. Do you find this acceptable? And you are? He's a friend of mine, Nazar. If you know something, I would hear it. When you're done, the Apostle can clarify. Agreed? Hmm. It begins with the assassination of the previous Begnion Apostle. It was 20 years ago, one year after the Declaration of Emancipation was made. The leader at the time was the Apostle Masaha, who was more adored by the public than any Apostle before or since. When she was assassinated, the citizenry was racked with grief, all of Begnion despair, and then a rumour began to circulate that the assassination was the work of the Serian Terrans. In the twinkling of an eye, the rumour spread throughout the Begnion capital. One night shortly thereafter it happened. The citizens grew violent. They massed at the edge of Serene's forest, home of their supposed enemy, and set it to burn. The crowd raged on for three nights, and in the end the Heron clan was lost. But their involvement was just a rumour, wasn't it? Why, why did they... Oh, the shame of it. Apostle, the remainder of the tale is yours. You stand as the Empress of Begnion. You are responsible for the acts of your citizens, are you not? False. The accusation was completely false. The assassination of the Apostle was not the work of the Serene's clans. That is correct. The Heron clan possessed no fighting skills. Their tribe survived by living a life of peace and piety in their forest. Unlike any other Lagoos, they never focused on developing their strength for the purposes of combat. Anyone with any knowledge of Lagoos would have known such a thing, and at the very least the citizens of Begnion would have known this. However, they had lost their leader and in their grief they cared little for the truth. They were merely looking for some way to vent their rage and despair. Isn't that true, Apostle? Please, Lord Nazar, that tone of voice. It's all right, Princess Lucy. He speaks the truth, be it with a sharpened tongue or no. Ike, the bird tribe of Phoenicius, target only Begnion's ships for their piracy. The ravens of Kilvus are after cargo, and so they attack everyone with equal vigour. The Hawk clans, however, hold the Herring clan as brethren, and still remember the false accusations, and their brutal murder. The Herring's at Alva's mansion? He slapped my hand away when I tried to help him. He had such hatred in his eyes. When he left on the window, he spoke to me. Remember the genocide, he said. Twenty years have passed, but I will never forgive what you did. Such needless pain. It may sound like utter hypocrisy, but my people regret deeply the actions of that horrific night. We stole the Herring clan from this world. Every time we see the blackened forest, our grave sin comes back to haunt us. Apostle, you are honourable. The majority of all of the senators have done their best to banish all men of the Serenes in that night, yet you have resisted. That is your intent, is it not? You are not like them. You are attempting to take responsibility for the actions of the people. To undo the wrongs of the past, you launched your own investigation into the late Lagoo's emancipation issue. You've even gone so far as to hire outsiders like Ike and his mercenaries to expose the problem, haven't you? Princess Alicia? Yes? I would like once more to make use of your escorts. Would you grant me this boon? Of course, uh, that is, if Ike and his group agree, I have no objection to your proposal. Depends on what you want. The member of the Heron clan you met, I want you to find him. I want you to meet him, I want you to speak with him. If that is your wish, we'll do it. In any case, we let that monster all of us slip to our grasp. We'll handle both tasks at the same time. I'm counting on you. Okay, I think this next chapter is the longest one. I couldn't remember whether it's 16, 17, or 18. Anyway, we'll see you next part. So, gonna save and I'll see you then.